If you'd like to be able to schedule Zoom meetings directly from your Google Calendar, you can do so using a Chrome extension. So the extension that I like to use is called Zoom Scheduler, and I have already installed it. But if you go to Zoom Scheduler, I'll provide the link in the notes of this video. You'll just click on that link. You'll be directed to this page. And over here on the right, instead of saying remove from Chrome, it will say something like add to Chrome. You're going to click on that and you're going to need to allow permissions for Zoom to access and create or delete things in your calendar because it will, um, when you create a Zoom meeting in your calendar, um, it needs that permission to attach the Zoom to it. And then if you delete the meeting, what it will do is it will also delete it in your um, Zoom menu or calendar. So you're going to allow all of this to happen. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Google Calendar. I would recommend refreshing the page just to ensure that the extension is actually active on the page. Normally it requires a refresh the first time after installing. And you are going to see hopefully the Zoom extension up here. Mine is actually hidden right now. So if I click on the puzzle piece that is for extensions, I will see that I have the Zoom scheduler. Here it is right here, Zoom scheduler. I can click on the pin if I do want it to show up on the top, but I don't need to like click on this extension to make it work. So that's why I have it hidden. I don't need to see it. However, you do want to go into the options for this the very first time to set which type of meeting ID is generated. So if you click on these three dots for more actions on the right, you are then going to choose options. Here, up at the top, this is the important piece. If you want it to be linked to your personal meeting ID, you will click here. So anytime you create a calendar event and add a Zoom link, it will use your personal meeting ID. However, if you are a teacher using your personal meeting ID for your classroom, I would not choose this. I would choose generate automatically. So what's going to happen is anytime you create a calendar event and add a Zoom link, it's going to create a unique Zoom meeting link for that meeting. So this is what I would recommend, unless for some reason, maybe you're an administrator, you might want to use your personal meeting ID. But for teachers, generally, you're going to want to use um, a generated ID. So check this first one. Now for security, it says these have been synced from your Zoom web portal. So but I would recommend making sure you have waiting room turned on. I am pretty sure I have waiting room turned on in my Zoom portal, but I'm just going to check this just in case and passcode um, to ensure that it is as close to secure as possible. Now here, you can choose whether you want video on for host and participants, whether you want to allow people to telephone in or just use computer audio. So I'd have both. And then down at this bottom part, um, you probably might want to mute participants upon entry. You might want to allow authenticated users to join. Um, but remember that if this is when you're setting up meetings with parents, for example, you might not want authenticated users to have that off. Um, if you do make this change, let's say your personal meeting had authentication and you had this box checked and you turned off authentication here, it's going to change your overall Zoom settings. So be careful with that. So and then if you want to automatically record, include the link in the location field, I'd say yes to that. So for general teachers at Carlmont, I'd recommend generate automatically, turn on passcode and waiting room, have these off, audio is both, mute participants upon entry and include invite link and location field. Um, and then I am this last box. I tried this. This would be awesome if I could choose each time. But when I checked this, I was unsuccessful. Um, it just automatically created meetings. It didn't allow me to specify schedule options. So you can try it if you want, but it didn't work for me. So I'm just going to leave it unchecked and then I'm going to press save. Now my settings have been saved. It says so in green up at the top. 
I'm going to go to my Google Calendar. And you can refresh again just after making any option changes if you ever go in and change those settings. And now what I can do is if I want to schedule a meeting, I can click. Here's 11 to 12. I can title it. Okay, this is just random, but whatever. I can do an event. I can change the time in Zoom. You can't have anything other than like half an hour time slots. Um, I can click on this and do 45 minutes, but I could also do like 1041. So you have a lot of control over the time here that you don't have when you schedule a meeting within the Zoom scheduler itself. And then I could have recurring meetings if I wanted to. I could add guests to this meeting and invite people to this meeting. And then I can choose what calendar I want, add descriptions or attachments. In the description, you could add a link to something or hyperlink to a website. This is where I like to put the agenda for, or for a meeting. Um, I'll just link the Google Doc here. And then when I'm ready, instead of just saving it, I'm going to say make it a Zoom meeting. And this is going to use that Zoom scheduler. That's why we see this here now, because I have that installed. And it puts the info with all the call-in numbers, it has the Zoom meeting, but what it did is it, because I put it in the address bar, it just has this as a blue link right here, which is really easy for you to then go and sign into Zoom. So if I click join Zoom meeting, it's gonna prompt me to open up Zoom, and I'm in my Zoom meeting right now. If it doesn't open directly into your Zoom meeting, you might have a pop-up here that's, um, if you haven't signed into Zoom yet, that might say if you are the host of this meeting, and in the little tiny text, it will say um, sign in, and then you will be all good and in your Zoom meeting.